All right, so we're live on stream and we're gonna have a discussion on the most efficient way to do the events that are happening right now. So if you're a whale or if you're free to play or if you just wanna be efficient and what you should collect first in what way and how to like maximize everything, because it's a huge event. We're gonna talk about this Reddit post Whoa, I'm not reading that crap. Summarize it in one word. Do what you want to do and be happy. Thank you very much. That's what I has to say. That Beth is Bay has posted about 17 hours ago from me making this video. So if you want to see this post, the first thing you got to do is hit that link in the description, scroll down and upvert this guy's post because he's done the maths or maybe he's... Beth is Bay, so maybe she's done the maths and upvote his post, right? Because he's putting in a lot of work for this. Has anyone in chat read this? Can you just summarize it for me? Because I don't want to read all this. You know, I can't read. Shop math, the infinity shop starts out much better value than the regular shop. Okay, what does that mean? Of course, it's an event, right? Intro, some facts. The legendary skull costs 1,200 coins. I don't know what you said, bongers. The legendary skull costs 1,200 coins. The mystical scrolls cost one plus one for each. Edit, after 100 mystical scrolls have been purchased, then you go up to two, up, up by plus two, and then up and at 200 total purchase. There will, there will, uh, this will be, a, I can't even read. Will be a cost of 300. They'll go up by plus three and so on. Okay, I don't get it, but I get you what you mean. Energy starts out at five for 100 and it goes up by five each purchase. Runes start at five and plus five per purchase. Short summary is what? On what's efficient? Yeah. Oh, okay, so where is it? Oh, this? This is the. Oh, okay, okay. So you guys can read the summary down here, but before we get to there, let's just browse through it. With that in mind, let's do some math and figure out the order to purchase the shop. I've left the wiggle room for a personal inter preparations on how you value. Is that what I said? How you value different items in the game. So some people might value scrolls in early game and some people might value devil mons end game or vice versa or whatever. Literally everyone is different on their personal values, I've come to realize. <laughs> so you can't make everyone happy, I understand. But this gets you to the starting point. Okay, if someone wants to create a cheat sheet style, blah, blah, blah. Also, if you think my math is wrong anywhere, please mention it in the comments. And tell him where he's wrong and he'll make the adjustments if necessary. Summons are the most exciting part of the game, even if they are a noob trap. So I made that mistake at the beginning, one of the first few years. How come no one in chat is talking? He's all reading the link that I posted, which is this guy's link. So let's start with this. If if you'll be purchasing the legendary score, that gives you a 6.5 chance of obtaining that five, which is the most people are looking for. 1,200 divided by 0 0.065 equals 18,460 coins will be spent on average per net five in the community. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> I needed to know that. I'm gonna get that tattooed. We'll only get there, obviously, but if we looked at the... I can't read that word. Ag aggregate? This is how we would phrase it out. At what point does that... I'm not reading anymore, okay? Okay. When does that equate to the mystical scroll rate of 0 0.5? Easy calculation, 18460 divided by 200 equals 92.3. So once crossover, man, this is too much maths for me. Over to 93 points is now more expensive to see. And that five from a mystical scroll than a legendary scroll, that's 100. See edit below, purchase of mysticals. Okay, this is too much. Fun fact, all told this will cost you just under 5,050 5, crystals. For the 100 plus 10 mystical versus 3600 of the legendaries. Okay, too much maths. All right, let's go to the summaries. Bongas, thank you for that. Before. 
Competitive mind people, this three is bro he's broken it down into three columns. Competitive mind people, which means free to play, right? Competitive mind newbie, and collector gotta summon all players. So he's mentioned something about being collecting the Pokédex, right? It's too much information there. So the most free to play players want to do the top one, and the most pay to win players will do the bottom one, right? Does everyone agree with me? I think so. Yeah. Energy to 100 cores, then devils, then artifacts, and then and then energy till 240, then runes till 40, crystal energy till 450. Oh my god! You know what? <laughs> we'll get there in a second. Runes to 100, reaps, grinds, gems, energy 800, runes 200, mystical scrolls 100, legendaries, mystical scrolls. 125 summoning stones the rest which is mana stones and what else mana mana i think it's just mana right and unknown scrolls and those useless shit competitive mind people so people in the middle of like casually pay to win and not so pay to win and free to play and etc energy till 100 devils artifacts energy to 240 Runes till 40, crystals, energy, 450 runes. This is the same as the top. Okay, he's changed energy to mysticals, legendaries, summoning, okay, and the rest. Okay, now the whales, this is what the whales want to do. Energy till 100, I'm not doing that, I'm a whale. I don't care about energy because I can just refill with my crystals. Devils, mystical scrolls, legendaries, mystical scrolls, stumbling stones, crystals, artifacts, energy, runes till 40. Like, guys, make sure you know till 40. Energy 350 reaps. There is no way a free a pay to win player is waiting to reaps to get them all the way over here. Just so you know, grinds gems energy 700. A few notes and edits on the math with the current MS event. Mystical scrolls purchases are actually worth 1.1. I know all the heavy free to to play players have been saving scrolls for this event, so good luck to them. Just good rates, right? The shifts <laughs> that turtles up even more. I've included this in the numbers above. The mystical scroll starts at increasing by plus two after you purchase 100. So you would purchase 110 to 115 turtle mystical scrolls before getting the summoning stones. With the MS event in mind, this would actually be 137 MS cost before SS. So if you value 2 MS. Basically, listen, seriously? I think you have enough time to do it in any order you'd want, okay? If you just use your crystals to farm to get enough coins, you'll be fine. But if you're using your crystals to summon, you're pretty much kind of screwed and you won't make it in time. But you have TOA resetting, you know, you have Guild War energy, you have Dimensional energy. You know, ta and then RTA and Arena Wings and stuff like that and using refills and stuff. Use the crystals that you get from TOA or other events of the game. And just use them to farm. Farm, 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 farm. And then get as much coins as possible. How much coins do you need all in total to collect everything? Was it that 5,050? Yeah, but there is people that want to get a lot a lot more coins to get those uh, mystical scrolls from the infinity shop but you know what i would leave that to the last thing you'll get everything from the event and then whatever you have left over at the end you throw them into the mystical scrolls do what you want to do and be happy thank you very much that's what i have to say